Hey guys, so today I'm gonna do a little vlog. I'm going to K Play Fest in San Francisco. I've never been to a K K Fest, K pop play fest. I've never been to one of those events before, so this is gonna be really fun. I'm going with Fernanda. It's gonna be in Japantown in San Francisco. I think there's gonna be performers, there's gonna be vendors, which I'm super excited about. I love seeing k-pop merch and like small businesses you know like fan-made k-pop merch so i'm super excited about that hopefully i buy some stuff and then i can show you guys i think that'd be really fun but yeah right now i'm getting ready i just got finished doing my makeup and i have to pick an outfit the last time i went to the city it was really cold and i'm scared it's gonna be the same but then also what if it's not the same and then i go like super coated and i'm like sweating i'm gonna meet fernanda as soon as i get done getting ready and then we're both gonna head there and have the time of our lives hopefully you guys enjoy this vlog hopefully i even vlog i'm super shy in public but i really want to show you guys how it is and like how it looks like yeah i feel like it's gonna be really cool i feel like there's gonna be a lot of people a lot of people doing different things i'm just gonna pick an outfit really quick let's check the weather so where i'm at it's 65 and the highest is gonna be is 81 but in san francisco it's 52 degrees and the highest it's gonna be is 62 which is not warm okay that's pretty cold yeah okay i'm gonna go i'm gonna dress pretty warm obviously not super like puffer jacket scarf earmuffs kind of warm but i'm gonna wear something that will keep me warm enough because last time i went to the city i was shaking it was way too cold i've always wanted to live in the city but the weather just like turns me off like i need warm weather i need 80 degree weather i prefer the hot over cold 100 percent and a lot of my clothes is for summer like hot weather we'll see what i decide and i'll get back to you guys okay i picked an outfit i don't really like it but whatever and i don't really like my hair either i realized that i don't like leaving my hair down anymore i just feel like super insecure about it i don't know why maybe it's because it's like grown it's grown out and like it's not all blue but i just don't like having my hair done i'm so used to putting it back in a hair clip which I feel like is bad because what's the whole point of dyeing my hair if I'm just gonna like hide it away in a hair clip, you know? I'm gonna let it down today. I never let it down when I go out. I know sometimes I do in my videos, but that's just because like I'm indoors. It's super rare when I let it down. But this is my outfit. I recently, my room's disgusting. So I just had like, I was like ripping clothes out of my closet. But I'm going with like a pink blue theme. I'm wearing this pink top from Urban. It's just like a tank top. And then I'm wearing these blue dickies that are also from Urban. They're super cute i think they're like a good alternative to like blue jeans i just bought these pink platform converse from urban as well and they're the cutest things ever and i think the pink and the pink shoes match really well and then also like the blue pants and my blue hair goes and i have my jewelry these are both from urban this is from target i believe my go-to rings and this is my mask is it a cute i got it from fan loli so let me just pick my bag hack my bag and i'll see you guys with fern you guys want to see my room what a disgrace oh my god oh my god oh my goodness oh my goodness I really need to do a closet clean out, okay? A few of you were like, oh my god, like you should do a closet clean out video. And you guys read my mind, okay? I just haven't had time to film it because they take super long and I know the editing is gonna bite me in the butt. I'm gonna be doing that soon and I can't wait for that because nothing fits, bro. I hate my outfit, okay, whatever.
I'm back from the K-Fest. I don't think I showed you guys what I got, so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly. I got some really cute things. There were a lot of vendors in the street. They mostly had BTS merch. I didn't really get that many things, but there were a few things that caught my attention, so. Um, before we went to K-Fest, I met up with Fernanda and we went to a Barnes and Nobles, of course. Um, and then I ended up getting, this is like super random, but I still wanted to show you guys. I ended up getting a manga and a notebook and i've talked about this manga before on my channel it's a sign of affection and she had told me that the fifth one just came out and so i had to buy it and she told me it was green the cover was green and so that gave me another reason to buy it i definitely recommend this manga if you guys are into like romance and stuff it's super cute um i haven't continued it Ooh, there's a lot. okay i also we ran into this like fruit collection that barnes and nobles had in their little like stationary stuff and they had like fruit related notebooks i was hoping there was a watermelon but there wasn't there was only strawberry pear lemon and an orange i think but i fell in love with the strawberry and it's just a simple notebook and there were two of them and i tried really hard not to get both because i don't really use notebooks like i tend to collect a lot of notebooks and like not use them um but i really do want to use this one in the future i don't know for what maybe like youtube ideas or like planning stuff out and then we headed to k fest first we went to um oh my gosh i forgot we got there and immediately we started looking around the vendors like the little shops and we came across this one and i got some really cute things from here let me show you their shop is called groovy star groovy star their business card is super cute i fell in love with their product so i saw i saw this phone charm their phone let me tell you their phone charms were so cute and i saw this one that says p1 harmony and like the theme is black and white and like pearls and it's so adorable right now i currently have one on my phone but def i'm gonna definitely like wear this or put it on my phone or maybe even my camera because my my camera doesn't have one. Oh, that would be cute. I'm going to attach it to my vlog camera. That'd be so cute. I'm going to do that. Um, But yeah, it just says P1 Harmony. And they had other groups. They had TXT, AT, BTS, I'm pretty sure, Stacy, And they were all so cute. Like, oh my gosh. So many vendors had cute phone charms and like keychains, stuff like that. But I definitely fell in love with P1 Harmony. They had really nice jewelry. And Fernanda also bought one of these. This one is from TXT. It's a TXT inspired necklace, a chain, silver chain, and it says loser. So their Instagram is called Groovy Star Pins. Their TikTok it's called is called Artsy Atsy. And this is so cute. Fernanda literally wore hers like as soon as she bought it, which I thought was kind of funny. I really I like this necklace. They had so many cute TXT related um, merchandise and like jewelry, and this is so cute. Are you kidding? Like, I like the little pearls they did on the side. And then I went by another uh, little vendor and they were selling decorated top loaders. And I saw this green one and I had to get it. Okay, let me show you. As we all know, I tried decorating top loaders and I just, I can't do it. Like, I think they're cute and all, but like, you know, some people are just like meant, like they're able to do it, you know? Like some people are just like talented. So this is a top loader. It just has green plants surrounding it and i love green okay i feel like i have a lot of pcs that have green in them so i think this will look really cute like set somewhere in my room um so yeah this one is from the shop it's from the shop called pinklittleclouds.com and their instagram is also pink little clouds and their tiktok as well they make majority like uh bts related goodies okay and then we went to sarang hello and of course we had to buy stuff there so i got the nct dream we young album and i had already bought in one from sarang hello because i went to sarang hello a few days ago um but i told fernanda i'm like let's just buy a random al album and like unbox it and so we ended up getting this one and i ended up pulling jisung let me show you guys we both pulled jisung as you guys saw in the unboxing and then sarang hello dude they're going crazy with the with the merchandise they're there's they're selling these cute collect books and this one has like a kitty no, it's like a cheetah. I don't even know what that is. It's a cheetah, right? I'm pretty sure it's a cheetah. And you guys already know who I'm gonna put in here, okay? We already know. And this is perfect because I was running out of collect books for Mark, okay? For Marky Poo. Um, so yeah, I got the cheetah one. And then they had a teddy bear one, but since it was like a similar color palette to this, I saw the strawberry one and then ended up getting the strawberry one. So this one is like that one, but it's a strawberry and it's a bunny. There's bunnies, little little apples. It's so cute. I don't know who I'm gonna put here yet. I should put Kang Sung. 
because I've been starting to collect Hang Sung from Ghost 9, so might as well. And then I think that's everything that I bought. Oh, and then someone was giving out freebies and they gave me one. Let's open it. There's like a Jolly Rancher. There's a Jolly Rancher, a Dum Dum, Butterscotch Dum Dum. And there's like confetti. I think this is like Itsy. This is their um, Instagram. It, they gave little cards. And then the freebie is an Itsy, Itsy group photo. And they gave confetti and a little sticker. This little bear sticker is so cute. W and then some confetti and another little candy. That's basically everything that I got from K-Fest. It was really fun. It was my first time going to a K-Fest. I don't know if it's recently or maybe I just haven't been in the game for a long time, but I feel like there hasn't really been a lot of like K-pop related things in the Bay Area. Like usually it's like in San Jose or somewhere a bit further from where I live. And San Francisco is like a good distance for me to like travel to for events. And it's really cool that they're starting to do more like K-Fests and like random dance plays and like, you know, big events like that for K-pop in San Francisco. So I don't remember that being a thing back then or maybe I just haven't really been aware of like these events, you know? But yeah, I had such a fun time. It was really cool seeing a bunch of like K-pop fans like all together in one place and like the random dance play like they were playing really good music and it was just really fun seeing everyone dancing and like having a good time and everyone's outfits was really nice like everyone looks so cute i'm planning on going to k play fest in la in september so i'm glad i went to the one here because now i know how k fests are like you know there's vendors the random dance play like performers and stuff like that and i can't wait to go to the la one it's really cool that like a lot of these like small businesses and like vendors were able to go and showcase their their items and like sell their merch sell their goodies yeah it was really cool if you guys if there's ever like a k-fest in your area and you guys are into k-pop or if you guys like sell merch and stuff like definitely go check that out see if you can be one of the vendors for that location and like sell your items you know get your business out there because i definitely think that a lot of people got their businesses out there you know gave more exposure i'm definitely gonna check out these little vendors that i bought like their shops and stuff because i like fell in love yeah that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry if i didn't vlog a lot it was kind of hectic and it was pretty loud and like i wanted to talk to the camera but again the music was really loud and it was just always playing so I didn't want to be like screaming and like my voice cracking and just like, you know, it would have been like a lot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the little clips that I did record. I know I keep saying I'll be better at vlogging, but it's just once I'm there, bro, it's hard. Also, just random. I got mail. I got PC in the mail and I bought a Kang Sung. <laughs> I bought a Kang Sung PC. Isn't he cute? Isn't he lovely? Look at him. So cute. <laughs> Okay, anyways, that's it. My cat is attacking the camera. We have an intruder in the house. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'm going to be going to a lot of K-pop related events soon. So I'm going to be vlogging all of that and posting like crazy. I hope you guys have a good... Oh my god! I hope you guys have a good day. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.